And today, not only have we started episode three of the physics series, but guess what? We've simplified our logo. Just wait until it becomes the Firefox logo with the dead fox in a dead world. Anyway, physics. So, today we will be looking at constant acceleration and calculating distance when we have a constant acceleration problem. All right, but to call our problem, we, well, we need a problem. But to get a problem, we need to call a problem. Okay, this guy has been used too many times already. Let's just call him. See? He entered this dimension as soon as I said it. Uh, he left some crap from when he traveled into here. Anyways, high physics logo, by physics logo. Here is our problem. So basically, at this point, the car, this otherworldly car with no damn doors, so once you get in, you're trapped. So, over here, it's a zero seconds, zero meters per second. Then over here, it accelerates after two seconds to six meters per second. Then after 4 seconds, it accelerates to 12. 6 seconds, it accelerates to 18. And after 8 seconds, it accelerates to 24. So now, what we want to do is we want to find the distance traveled during this time. So, how can we find it? Well, we can always use <coughs> the equation A is equal to V over T. But remember, it's delta V over delta T. But the thing is, 0 T, so that means Vf minus Vi is just going to be, well, the change in T is 8, and Vf minus Vi is just going to be 24 minus 0, so 24, giving us 3. D equals to Vit plus half a t squared where VIT goes to zero, giving us half AT squared. It's just gonna be three times time is eight times 64. So that just gives us three times 32. What would that be? Post in the comments below. And actually I have no idea and I don't care because it's actually just 96. All right, so now, we oh uh, yeah so 96 meters but how are we sure that that's our answer even the cameraman is smiling even he doesn't know how are we sure that this is our answer well let's use some calc to find out go watch our other series i'll leave the link to it down in the description along with the sponsored by brilliant link Remember, today we were sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is what made this channel possible. So please check out their website and maybe get a membership. Gives you lots of websites, lots of lessons, lots of everything. Really good organization. You should check it out. Look at the link in the description. Right then, let's get back to our problem and solve this using a second solution that proves our first one. Well, first we need to prove that V really is V. So we can look at a VT graph and we can see that it's gonna increase linearly. Well, it's not gonna look exactly like that because this is actually 6x. So it's not gonna look like this. It's more going to look like our ratings going up towards the sky. That is our VT. So if this is one, then this is six, because it's six X, right? Or was it three X? Oh yeah, it was three X. Where X is T. All right, so we have systematically proved that if we plug in y equals 3x, we, if we know that a, so 3 and time is 8, so 
so, oh, sorry, sorry. So, we know that A, so we know that A is really just this coefficient. V is this and time is this. So V equals AX. So systematically we can prove that V is gonna be a T. And so our velocity, which is, by the way, uh, what was it? Yeah, 24 is equal to three times X, giving us time as well. So we have proved that we have 24 and we have time equals eight. And that brings us back to our old solution where we can use this path again to get our answer. 96. That is our answer. Thank you everybody for watching and we will see you next time.